In the Colombian Eastern Plains, agricultural production is one of the main sectors of the economy. The plantain is a crop of great importance for small producers, supported by organizational processes that have favored the creation of farmers' associations. Its production systems use high densities, which means that in the region there is a predominance of annual cycle production, which implies a high demand for seed per cycle. In this context, it is important to point out that there are few registered nurseries in this area that offer quality material and adequate technical assistance to the rest of the producers in the region. Multiplication of plantain seeds in the Eastern Plains We are located in the municipality of Granada, in the village of La Cubilla. We are approximately 500 meters from the bridge over the Mayari River, located in the nursery El Alcaraven. It is a nursery of my property where one of the species we propagate is Aceas. Here in the plantain multiplication block Harton Platano de Ratones is the main variable that is planted in this area. It is a variety for warm climate and therefore in this we are in the growing area where in this area, we have approximately 20,000 plants growing with destination already a producer. Consequently, it is necessary to disseminate research and technology development actions and multiplication of seed in the region is necessary. That contributes to a technical change that includes the improvement of the production system and of the living conditions of the producers in the region. We started with seed multiplication technology in 2013. In 2013, the country was affected by water, the wintering season, and as a consequence of this problem, that occurred at a national level in many areas where rivers overflowed, all kinds of crops were destroyed. The national government created a program to solve the problem. To solve the problem quickly. So it created the program to quickly produce seeds and to give them to the producers, so that they could restart their crops. To start their crops again. Well, this propagation system is done mainly because plantain is a crop that is important for the region. Because we have about 18,000 hectares of plantain and the sanitary problems are limiting production. Mainly in the area we have presence of mucus, plantain, a disease caused by a bacterium and this forces us to take other ways to propagate seed because these problems are transported mainly in the seed. So, normally what the producers or we used to do was to use traditional hills, children of the plants, and that apart from propagating sanitary problems. It also creates some problems of low profitability. Difference in size. Some plants stand out because there is nothing, there is no uniform material planted. So with this system of plant production, the lots will be much more uniform and material health will be completely guaranteed, up to the point where the production process is carried out. If here in the zone, culturally, the great majority of producers still use Kalino, we are breaking the tradition a little bit by trying to implement this system. The producers who have already used plants or who have taken plants from here to the nursery have done much better with their, with their productions. The crop is much more profitable and they are the main, our main clients. They have liked the material and they have continued. They have continued to bring material using plants for planting. This is important technology adoption. Obviously with the implementation of all those management measures that the crop has, it led to guarantee that I will get a quality fruit. And that was it.
I can put it in any market. So I look for the best markets. But I also look for the best remuneration for the product. So the producer will earn more income by obtaining a product as it is. The selection process of the initial material from which mills or combos will be obtained, is fundamental to be able to count on the selection process of the initial material from which mills or combos will be obtained, is fundamental to be able to count and maintain the attributes already described and to avoid that defects or diseases are transmitted by a sexual propagation in successive generations after the multiplication of the material. The production process that we do here at Alcaraven Nursery is a process that is called the plant. The planting consists of eliminating the central part of the cabbage tree. By the way, this hill to prevent it from germinating and inducing the growth of these buds. As we can see here in this. In this system. This is a hill that is worked is stunted, it's, I'm afraid apical and it causes the lateral buds that are underneath the leaves to start developing. If on average we can take out 10-12 plants per. On top of that, as this cabbage comes from a selected mother plant, the banana is sexually propagated, because all these offspring have the same information of the mother plant. We will have a very productive plant that with good management will be equal or superior to the initial plant. This is a Kalino, because it is the ideal needle type to make this type of system, it has a little more than a kilo, and what we do is to eliminate the roots and the soil without damaging these buds that are going to be the future plants that we are going to harvest. It is already disinfected, it is already fixed. We can see that it is a very healthy cabbage, it has a very good color and no wounds or any symptom of any sanitary problem. That is true. And then we proceed to the repair or to the process of deplanting, which we call if we see that there are no injuries, no lesions, a completely healthy pine tree. What we are going to do here is to go down until we are close to the apical system, which is at this central point where the plant germinates and puts out its leaves. We are going to get to the point where we are going to atrophy that canola. So what we are going to what we are going to do is to uncover under each leaf where the leaves meet. There is a bud. Leaves, there is a bud. So we are going to uncover carefully to see where those buds are. Here we can see that there is a bud. So the idea is not to damage it. As the socks are removed, it is possible to damage it. Then it is necessary to avoid when one observes that the next leaves underneath are coming together, there will be another one. Underneath joining together, there will be another bud under here. So you have to be careful there is a bud there. Well that is clearly observed and we are removing more stocking yes and well we go down the hill a little bit and at some point it shows the leaves. It shows these rings that it has and it is when we get very close to the meristems. So how close we are to that site. In this site we begin to see that the leaves begin to be erased. The tissue that is seen begins to be lost. The marks of the leaves begin to be erased. Then we already know that we are very close to the meristem. Then what we do is to atrophy it. We make a small lesion with the knife. And we can also damage it. And then we already know that the one that we have eliminated it. Then this process that we call explant the elimination of the system of the main meristem. 
Elimination of the main meristem system stimulates the sprouting of the buds and of the buds that are under each leaf after this process we move on to beds like this sample that we have here. We sew it in this way that the upper part is uncovered. And it is kept humid approximately days after this sewing process we are going to find a hill in this way with the stimulation of its offspring. Right. We see that this one has stimulated three, four, five, six, seven buds and one that we already harvested here, so that this hill has already given us or is going to give us eight children that we will possibly take advantage of. We disinfect and remove the son of the mother hill a piece of hill keeping a little piece of the tissue so as not to risk cutting it so as not to damage the sun as a cut and we proceed to plant it in a bag normally we use a rooted analyzer in this step we apply to the surface of the cut and we proceed to plant it has to be very tight we use a substrate that is previously disinfected this substrate has rice ash river sand has black soil and husk and we proceed to put it in the area of growth a plant ready for sale has to have about four between four and six fully developed leaves the whole process takes approximately two months from harvesting, from the time it is placed in the bag until it is in this state. These plants take 40 days to be ready to be sold, approximately 45 days. The seed production nuclei can help these processes given the possibility of providing quality material to strengthen the crop. Also a relevant element is the fact that in the region only a few production units of these materials have the corresponding registration for the production of plantain seeds heart and lanero that guarantees the health and genetic quality of the material. It is important to adopt the technology Obviously with the implementation of all these management measures that the crop has, I can guarantee that I will obtain a quality fruit and that quality fruit I can put in any market. So I look for the best markets. But I also look for the best remuneration of the product. So the producer will earn more income by obtaining a product like this. The production of nursery plants offers different advantages compared to traditional seed. Among these is the uniformity of the material. The producer sows plants all of the same size so there are no problems of some plants straggling or some plants not reaching production at the end of the cycle. All the plants are uniform and all the plants will produce bunches almost at the same time in the same season which allows to have less production losses, the other advantage of this system of plant. Production is that the plants are free of sanitary problems, the producer will not have to spend resources or contaminate the soil and water with the application of disinfectants or products for the control of the production of the plants, and this means more income for the producer. The other advantage of this system of plant production is that the plants are free of sanitary problems. The producer will not have to spend resources or contaminate the soil and water with the application of disinfectants or products for the control of the production of the plants disinfectants or products for mucus control mainly for mucus control. Then this system also allows that there are no receding all the plants that are normally sown in bags because they all germinate 
or all take root in the soil and when the harvest arrives there is no need to reseed. When the producer compares all these benefits, he realizes that the initial cost of a seed, it is a traditional seed is recovered over time, and will have a greater utility. However, as in any new process, there are some producers who are still skeptical and skeptical and are reluctant to implement these new technologies. The producers still take traditional planting material. The vast majority is a little more to make the transfer to explain the advantages of producing this type of material and initially what they are doing is testing the material and once it reaches production they do not have the lots of report if they see the differences of the column or traditional to the plant and they stay with this system of propagation. All the above are criteria and indicators product of technological validation in seed production processes and production processes and research trials by Agrisavia's work team, which represent a baseline to guide future producers in seed multiplication processes. Producers in banana seed multiplication processes so that they can achieve an efficient management of their production system. Yes, the producers who have used this system, I tell you this system of production. Planting from seedlings is a new topic in the region. Let's say, producers are still a little skeptical, but we already have several producers who have used the material, and they are very happy with this form of production. They have increased their yields, the plantations are very uniform, they are our main clients. Those who have already used and continue to use our material, so I think that the region already needs new technologies. We have been doing very traditional cultural practices for many years when the systems have changed and technology has advanced. So I believe that soon the use of these seeds will become more widespread. And then we invite the producers and the same sanitary problems will force the producers to invest in better planting materials. We invite producers in the Ariari region, mainly where we are located, and in the country in general, to invest in better planting materials, and the country in general to use these types of seeds or these systems of propagation of material, because they offer many guarantees compared to what we have traditionally been doing. The use of this system allows us to improve yields. Improve yields have more uniform plantations have no health problems do not spread health problems to the lots and would have the product of a much higher profitability, because this material comes selected some ideal mother plants is then therefore with good management it will producers will increase their yields. Or not and we hope to grow as nursery producers of plant material we expect to grow very quickly we are growing very quickly really in the short time we have been growing rapidly the. We hope that all the producers will follow these recommendations. And that little by little we will massify this technology. So that the results will be spectacular and the producers will earn more money than they are currently earning and so that they can look for better markets in the future is what we are looking for. <laughs>